Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is Mind Visit by Axel Hecklau. Before we do this, can you please like, subscribe and have a good old gander at cardmagiccourse.com. Go on, have a look at it. It's very good, but I would say that. So uh, read the testimonials, sign up for the free Spread Cull course and see what you think. There are hundreds of videos, live sessions every week, and it's a really, really lovely, warm and safe community to try stuff out, get lovely feedback from people. And the sessions are just great. So check it out, cardmagiccourse.com. Thanks. Uh, as some of you may know, this is a slightly biased review because I'm a big fan of Axel Hecklau, who is not really. So when he comes up with an idea based on a classic, I'm all ears, I'm gonna listen to this because I don't think he's come out of anything. I've kind of gone, that's not for good. It's the, the depth of thinking and the, the, the work he puts into making these things just right is, is astounding. And this is based on Tossed Out Deck. Now, hosting a magic show that other magicians have performed in, I have seen various versions of Tossed Out Deck. And I will say, even in its most basic, it's a great trick. It's good because it, why do we all use it? You know, back from seeing Gazzo do it, you know, you've got the whole audience involved. We haven't, but you know, you've got this space. So it feels like the whole audience is involved. And you've got, it's just dynamic, there's stuff going on. Uh, but there are issues with it, as there are with anything. And what Axel's tried to do here is kind of iron out those issues and say, right, well, how can we make this as close to perfect as possible. So I'm not going to go through what those issues are, but basically, if you don't know the trick, it's you get a deck of cards, it's got elastic band around it, you chuck it out into the audience, someone peels back and look at the cards, someone else does, someone else got, does, and um, and they're all standing up, and you name the cards, basically, and the people sit down. That's the, the presentation of it. Really clever, kind of hands-off thing. Um, and there are certain things that can and can't happen within that process. What you can't, what is worrying, if you had four people in front of you and you just wanted to do it with that four people or a table of people, then you've got to be a bit, you can't really do it because they could talk afterwards and things could be exposed. This gets rid of all that. So in this one, what you are doing, and again, ugh, I can't go into the, the workings, but you basically have four people and you can get to a position where you tell them what their cards are. Each person, your card is that card, your card is that card. So it isn't the thing of you all sit down. Now you may have to do that and that's there's a very small chance you might have to do that. But most of the time it's, it's telling them, it's going through a process of telling them what card they're merely thinking of and they've all looked at cards separately. You've shown that the cards are all different in a very clear new deck order way at the beginning. You give them a good shuffle, you give them, you put the elastic bands in front of them and then you, you do the trick. May I ask you to? Open up. Look at uh, watch a card. Do you have one in mind? Yeah. Perfect. So one and two. Um, maybe you, sir, if you like, Justin. Yeah, one. Okay. okay. Three and maybe. Oops. Come around. Maybe you. Just pick one card. It's the king. It's the king of hearts. Thank you very much. Of diamonds and the queen of spades. That's correct. Thank you. He has thought of a lot in this, even down to the point where he's used plastic cards. They are card shark cards, but he's used plastic cards because after a certain amount of performances, people bending them back, you know, they're going to start creasing and they're going to end up being bent up in the same place. So it avoids all that. Obviously, they might be chucked around. He personally doesn't throw it around. He hands it around, which is, is fine, but there are, again, different ways of doing it. There's lots of subtleties in that. Again, I can't go through all the details about giving it away, but he has, even in the process, the fishing process, the angling process, which I can say because I think that if you don't know what it is, you don't know what it is, um, he has thought deep and hard about how to make that the fairest possible. And I really wanted to read this because I'm a big, like I said, big massive fan of the Mind Power deck and my fishing technique isn't that great. Um, so to see all those subtleties and go, oh, you could do this. So it really makes all that process part of it rather than something suspicious. And what he has done, which is absolute genius and shows complete empathy with the performer, is one of the biggest problems I have with these sort of things is they are very hard to practice unless you're actually doing them. And if you're actually doing them, obviously you're practicing them, you could, they could 
go either way because you're practicing them. And that's fine if you've got people to practice them with. But it's a really hard thing to do. And he has developed a tool, which is an app basically, which you go and, and you practice on the app. So it gives you all the scenarios and you can actually go through that process again and again and again. So when you do perform it for the first time, you're gonna know it inside and out. And it is really intuitive. It's really, really clever. The instructions he's got in here are brilliant. He goes through absolutely everything again and again, and they're written instructions, which I think is really valuable with stuff like this. I've really enjoyed sitting and sort of pouring over them and then rereading them. He's got some really um, thorough, you know, in this little book, he packs a lot in, you know, really thorough uh, crediting in here. And, and I just think it's great. Um, there is even, there's like four instructional videos on how to use the, the tool that you practice it with, the app. So which you obviously get with it. So I'm really, th this is great. And I think it's, again, it's that feeling you get, that joy of performing this is, is very similar. I've done it once, I haven't done it a lot, but it, where do I do it? You know, it, it's, I'm practicing it. Um, I'm gonna take it out. I will update you when I do it, try and get some footage and put it on the site or put it on social media. And uh, there's no doubt I'm gonna do it. because I just think it's brilliant. And again, it irons out all those issues, but there's nothing wrong with the original one. But if you wanna do it with small groups, with tables, uh, this is this is a trick and it will last you forever. Uh, it's great. So that's Mind Visit by Axel Hecklau. Do check out the uh, Just a Cup review that I did, which is brilliant as well. And there'll be more Axel Hecklau reviews because I'm, like I said, I'm a big fan. And because this stuff isn't like all over the internet, you might miss it. And I think it would be it would be a shame. So uh, and of course Easy Cube I did, which I do all. Oh, it's just great. It's just it's easy and it's an amazing cube trick. Easy Cube, that's what's called that. Uh, not affiliated, I know I'm a bit gushy about it, but I, you know, credit where credit is due. So do use the links below. Thank you very much to Axel for sending this to me and, um, and let me know what you think. Do comment. I answer the comments most Thursdays at five UK time. So if you've got any comments, any questions, I will answer them because I don't get everything into these reviews because it would go on even longer if I did that. So uh, like, subscribe, check out cardmagiccourse.com.